Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another live episode of The Sleeved Chef. My name is Michael Salomon. As always, behind the camera is my beautiful wife, Mary. Uh, on tonight's episode, we will be making a uh, uh, next installment of our holiday apps, uh, holiday appetizers, rather. We'll be preparing our t uh, sriracha and garam masala turkey sliders uh, with cucumber and cilantro uh, chutney aioli. It's going to be delicious, flavorful, a fun spin on turkey burgers, and an easy app to bring with an easy, healthy app to bring with you to a holiday party. So let's go over our ingredients for the evening. Uh, we have our round turkey. We also have our uh, salt and pepper, our kosher salt, black, ground black pepper, coarse ground black pepper, mixing bowl. We have our garam masala, and we have our curry powder, and we have some sriracha. And then we also have a single cucumber. We have our food scale as always, cutting board. We have some uh, uh, red chili powder, a hot red chili powder. And then we're going to have some extra virgin olive oil and some ginger garlic paste. So what we're going to do first is we are going to open up our turkey burger, open up our turkey. Now it's time to season up these burgers. We're just going to add a little salt, add coarse ground black pepper. We're going to add one tablespoon of curry powder. And we're going to add one tablespoon of garam masala. And now with the sriracha, it's important to remember, you can add, if you like it a little bit spicier, you can add a little bit more. If you don't want it as spicy, you can always add a little bit less. It's very important to note, if you're going to bring this to a holiday party, you always want to make sure that you cater towards your audience. So by that I mean, if you know that the people at the party are going to lean more towards spicy food and look for something interesting, go a little bit spicier. If you know that you're going to be dealing, you know, if the crowd is going to be people you don't necessarily know, you're unfamiliar with their own palates and their own preferences, I'd back off a little bit on the sriracha. So we'll add sriracha here. Keep in mind we're adding about one, for my preference, for our preference, we're adding about two to three tablespoons of sriracha. Let's get our hands in here and give this a nice mix. So we want to make sure our, our turkey is thoroughly mixed. You'll see the meat start to change color. That's what you want. You want to make sure everything gets in there. All of your spices go right into that burger. You want the spices to be evenly distributed throughout the burger. Keep in mind, too, this is something you can do a few hours ahead of time as well. So I'm adding a little bit more sriracha here. Or you can add a little bit more curry powder and a little bit more garam masala. Let's get this a nice mix. All right, this is looking good. Here we are. See here, this is what I mean by being thoroughly mixed. Now, we've got our food scale here. We're going to go ahead and weigh out our sliders. They are going to be two ounces before cooking. So we've got our scale covered with some plastic wrap here. This makes for easy cleanup. We're going to just patty these up here. Okay. Heavy. There we go, we're at two ounces. And you just want to roll the burger around in your hand and then just flatten it out. 
There we go. There you have it. There is our first turkey slider. Patty up the rest of this meat. Two chefs around the house as always. Shh. Go. We're just gonna do four of these. So the serving size will be four ounces total, or two two ounce patties. Oh. Something's got to be crunchy. What's going on there, Stel? All right. There we go. All set there. Next up, we want to mix up some of our chutney. So you can find cilantro chutney at, uh, it's readily available at a lot of uh, Asian grocery stores, such as H Mart. You can find it at a lot of Indian grocery stores as well. Uh, Ganesh Brothers is great for it. Or you can simply make it yourself. We will be doing an episode um, on how to make cilantro chutney. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of cilantro chutney here. Here we go. Mayonnaise as well. This is a little fresh made, homemade mayonnaise we talked about before. There we go. That little mix. And all we're doing here is just incorporating our cilantro chutney in our mayonnaise. The mayonnaise is nice because it will really help cool it down. There we are. Alright, looks great. Next, let's go ahead over here. So it's a very important part here, everyone. First, we're going to add our oil to our pan. And then we're going to add our ginger garlic paste, which we have here. And we're going to add our red chili powder after that. This is very important to note. What we're doing is we're basically flavoring our oil so that as the turkey burgers cook in the oil, they will be, they'll absorb uh, all of that extra spice and really add a nice finishing touch. Here, adding about two tablespoons, about two ounces of oil to our pan. Wow, that's a coat of pan here. Gonna add our ginger garlic paste. Next, is exactly what we want. Chili powder here. Okay. A little more oil in our pan. The pan cooks will look a little low on the oil here. Add a little bit more. Go. 
Important note to remember, you can always add more oil. You can't take it away. Very important to note. What we're doing is we're basically seasoning and flavoring our oil with the ginger garlic paste and with the red chili powder. Now we'll add our turkey burgers to that oil. We're using a medium heat here. We want to be very careful not to burn. We want to be very careful not to burn our ginger garlic paste. You can do that by making sure that you've got plenty of oil in your pan and that your heat is not too hot. All right. So, does anybody have any questions while we are? Okay. How's everybody doing out there tonight? We doing well? Add a little salt and pepper here. mindful of our heat. This is really important. It's one of those dishes there's no need to rush. You may be tempted to rush, there's really no need to rush this dish. Alright, so our burgers are cooking. Let's go ahead and slice up our cucumbers. So the fun thing about using cucumbers for this dish is it's a very fun, simple means as an alternative to a bun. Let me show you what we can do here to, to make this a little bit more fancy. So what we're going to do with our cucumber is we're going to take a standard peeler and we're going to peel off four sections. One. Two. do is it'll give you a nice, even fancy, more unique looking cucumber when you have the slices. So since we're going to use these for buns, we don't want to cut these too thin. So we're going to shoot for about a quarter inch thick for our cucumber. So once again, we're going to tuck our fingertips back, side of the blade is going to go up against that middle knuckle. You can very carefully so here's right about where we want, guys. We want this right about here, maybe a little bit thinner. There we go. That is perfect. So you'll see here the burgers are actually going to sit in between these two cucumbers. So once you get, one of the things I recommend, once you achieve that size and width that you're looking for, I recommend keeping one you're looking for right next to you. Bless you, honey. I recommend keeping one next to you just so you know you have a guide to go off of. All right. It's also easier to use the front of your knife in this particular situation. Checking our turkey burgers. Oh yeah, that looks great. 
See this color here, everyone? You want to slide in here, honey? See this color? This is what we want. Right here. We want that browning. There we go. They are looking good. I'm going to add a little bit. I think we might be okay on our fat. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Yeah. There we go. A little bit more fat to our pan. Does anybody have any questions? Everybody doing well? Excellent, excellent. Uh, as always, if you have any suggestions that you would like to see us cook, please feel free to drop us a line on our page. You can always email us, thesleevechef.com. <coughs> Excuse me. Now's a good time to check out our webpage as well, The Sleeve Chef. You can also find us at Sleeve Chef in MD on Instagram. And of course, you know Facebook, The Sleeve Chef. But we sort all sorts of exciting new live things coming uh, in 2017. We're going to be focusing a lot on meal prep. We're going to be focusing on a brand new YouTube channel as well that will be coming in 2017. That will be great. You can watch the videos anytime. Uh, Kathleen Louise asked, I missed the forming the patty. Did you add anything to the turkey? Sure. We can go back here, Kathleen. So our turkey, to our turkey, we added gar we added sriracha. We added one, we added uh, one and a half tablespoons of curry powder and one and a half tablespoons of garam masala. And we also added just some kosher salt and some coarse ground black pepper. I'm going to form up the rest of our patties while we have a moment here. Just to show you how we did these patties. As well, we're going to make sure our scale is on. Zero it out. Good to go. So we're going to grab some of that ground beef. So this is a pound of turkey. So you should yield about eight of these two ounce patties. We're going to drop that on our food scale here. Food scale, goodbye one guys, they're great, lifesavers. I think I can eyeball two ounces, I can't. I'm classically trained. All right, so we've got two ounces here. All we're gonna do once again is just roll it up with our hands. And just flatten it out, and there you go, there's your patty. Same thing here. Ounces as well. Excuse me. Our last patty is going to be a little heavy, that's fine. Round of turkey burgers in here. So what we'll do to finish these off is we'll grab a turkey burger. 
going to add it right on top of our cucumber. And so. And then we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of cilantro chutney on top. You mean cilantro chutney aioli? Uh, yep, thank you. I mean cilantro chutney aioli. And then we're just going to go ahead and add our other cucumber on the bottom. And we'll make one more here. I forgot a step. So in traditional sandwich fashion, we're going to add some cilantro chutney to the bottom. Uh, cilantro chutney aioli rather to the bottom cucumber first. There we go. We'll grab our turkey burger here. Pop that guy right on top. You see how that fits nicely there? Perfect little snack. And we'll add a little bit more here. Right on top. There we go. Perfect. There you have it. Add these guys in. So, for tonight's meal, we prepared a garam masala and uh, garam masala sriracha uh, turkey slider. This was another one of our great holiday appetizers. Uh, we finished it with some cilantro chutney aioli, as well as just topped it off with some cucumbers. It's a simple, clap, simple uh, fun spin on a traditional slider. Uh, so, if anybody, uh, once again, everyone, you can always find us online. TheSleeveChef.com, uh, as well on Instagram, SleeveChefInMD, and of course on Facebook, The Sleeve Chef. We'll have all sorts of exciting things happening in 2017. Uh, thank you very much once again, everybody, and have a great rest of the night. Bon appetit.